It's MLB 24 season. I gotta be honest, I am loving the game so far. In a weird way, it is the same, it's familiar, but somehow also feels fresh. Make that make sense. But there's some stuff, uh, 10 things in particular that everybody needs to know to get started with MLB The Show 24. So leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about it. But first, we'll give a quick shout out to Underdog Fantasy. The MLB regular season is just about here. So now is your last chance to get into the season long pickums. It couldn't be any easier. You just find a player prop and simply say, is he gonna go over or under that number? Like Aaron Judge home runs. So if you think you know ball, this is a great opportunity because you can make your predictions on who's gonna have a good season and who's not gonna have such a good season. And right now you can use my promo code GOMES. You're gonna get $100 for free. Up to $100 deposit match. You see the map where Underdog is available. And thank you again to them for sponsoring me throughout this MLB season. A big feature this year with seasons returning is the Cornerstone Pack that nets you the choice of an 88 overall captain between Byron Buxton, Nolan Arenado, Kodai Senga, and Greg Maddox. I did choose Buxton and I am very happy with that choice. If you're wondering who to take, you haven't picked it yet, I'd highly recommend uh, Mr. Byron Buxton. But if for some reason you should find yourself unsatisfied with the pick that you chose, you can exchange them and you can add all four of these cards into your collections for free. Very important distinction here. That cornerstone captain, Byron Buxton, he has to be taken out of each and every one of your lineups in order for this to work. So make sure to check your main team, your second team, your mom's team. Make sure that that captain is nowhere to be found. Additionally, they might be hiding in an event lineup, so make sure they're to take them out as well. And last but not least, they still might be lingering in a mini seasons lineup. So once more, make sure that they are out of each and every lineup that they could possibly be in, in order for this to work. All right, we did all the requisite checks. Let's go in and exchange that Byron Buxton. There you see he appears, and if we did want to exchange him, we can do that. Of course, I've already done it. If you, I'll just show you. It's no, <laughs> no trouble for me. Uh, we'll just get that pack, and uh, you can see what it looks like from here. There we go, we're gonna pick Byron Buxton yet again. But like I said, you can collect all of these cards. So once you have that card, you want to go into collections, into your season collection, scroll down until you find them, and make sure that you collect them. There are no sell cards to begin with, and you can collect all four of those. You see, I have Kodai Senga, I have Greg Maddox, and I also have Nolan Arenado. All four of those collected, and you can still pick the one that you want. A big one that I've seen people get frustrated with, your team logo. You see right there, we've updated ours, but a lot of people have not been able to update it. That's a very simple change. Go into your logo editor, make sure that you change this to whatever logo that you so choose. And you gotta go to your custom uniforms. You see your hat right here. You're once again gonna load in whatever logo that you want to appear on your main screen and you accept that on both your home and away uniforms, and you'll be good to go. That will change your logo for both this and the in-game score bug. So we talked up how good that Byron Buxton captain boost is. He really transforms your entire team. You look at a guy like James Wood. You look at a guy like Giancarlo Stanton, how good these cards become. I reckon a lot of people for a pretty long while are gonna be wanting to use that captain boost or a different captain boost. And there's a very easy way in game to find out what different cards are actually gonna fit that captain boost. So make sure that you activate the captain that you're wanting. We activated Byron Buxton. Then you go into inventory and you can search boosted by captain. They don't talk about this feature a lot, but it is very helpful. So you can easily scroll down, scroll as many pages as you'd like to see what cards you should go after if you're looking to keep that captain boost in order. See who would get buffed. Like this Willie Castro, for example, who might just be one of the best cards of the game with the Byron Buxton captain boost. This is a big one, I can't stress enough. Do your collections. You have so many stubs sitting there that you probably just haven't redeemed yet. 
all of these starter collections. Of course, we've mentioned this prior. You should make sure to do this. It's not going to net you a ton of stuff, but it's something, and it goes to so many different lengths. The Live Series collections, even if you don't have much desire to get them all done to get up to Babe Ruth right now, just go in and see how many cards you have. Make sure you lock them in and you're going to get stubs. You see, for 10 cards, you get 200 stubs right there. And it's especially important for the uniform collections. There is so many free packs that you get for collecting these uniforms that you're going to get automatically just by playing the Team Affinity programs. We've already redeemed six free packs right there in the AL throwbacks. In the National League, we've redeemed an additional six, and we're working on uh, another five right now for the MLB alternates. Highly suggest keep these jerseys and just put them into these collections, and you're going to get some good stuff. Here's an important tip for Showdown in MLB 24. If you find yourself trailing in the final Showdown, typically if you're losing by three or more, they will not cover. So if you're behind the eight ball in your final Showdown, if you get a single, that might as well be a triple because you can take the free bases. Then you just wait for your pitch and kaboom. In the new Conquest map released yesterday, the Spring Showers map, you can redeem one of those new millionaire packs that everybody is chasing after. The pack that you have a chance, mind you a 1 in 1 million chance, to pull 1 million stub voucher. And you don't have to play any games, you just go down to the bottom of the Conquest map, the bottle of the umbrella's handle, and you'll find a hidden pack. That being the Millionaire Pack. It's a new year, it's a new game, we probably haven't played in quite a while. The PCI Anchor is perfect for just that. You can choose to have your Anchor presets. So you don't have to move it every single time. The PCI Anchor, of course, is going to set where it will start up when you're not touching the analog stick. Normally, it would be in the direct middle of the strike zone, but you can change it to be wherever you want in the strike zone. So if you want to lock it in one particular place without have to reset it every time, you can do so. Just set PCI Anchor as preset, have it reset uh, per batter, per game, per inning. If you only want to do it once a game, make sure it's on game, and you'll be good to go. You'll have your PCI right where it needs to be every single time. Again, with it being a new game, brings the same questions. What should you do with cards? Should you sell them? Should you hold on to them? Well, I would say this. Things are drastically going to get changed pretty soon. Of course, MLB opening day is coming up. And remember, if you are returning to the series, that we have supercharged cards and we also have Inside Edge Boost on live series. So a card like this, Fernando Tatis Jr., who at face value right now might not be that desirable because his hitting stats aren't that good, he's going to get Inside Edge Boosts, which is going to give a lot of these cards pretty significant buffs to their stats. So I wouldn't be selling a lot of stuff right now. I'd hold off because these cards should raise in price as they get better come opening day. And the same can be said for supercharged cards, of course. That is where a player in real life has a big game and he'll get boosted up to one of the game's best players for a limited time. And that's always a great instance to make a lot of stubs. If you have those cards able to sell, well, you can unload them on the market and make some pretty quick stubs. And finally, number 10, a pretty simple one, but something that you might not catch if you're not always logging into the game. This year, they're making it a point to put a lot of free stuff, a lot of free packs into the game. They've referenced it in blog posts. They've talked about it on their pre-developer streams. They want to put packs in the game for people to be able to claim. So you just got to check in, whether it be on the game or on MLB The Show's official app. You can redeem those packs and hopefully pull something good. Could be blunt, pretty unlikely, but hey, as long as there's delusion, there is hope. So that's what you guys need to know about MLB The Show 24, some stuff that you probably did not know and some stuff that is going to help, especially the people first getting into MLB The Show. Let me know in the comments section what other things are very pertinent for all players this year. And leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys are enjoying MLB 24 to this point. Like I said, pretty good so far. 
Yeah, I like the cut of its gym. Subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.